If you're having trouble on defense, look no further. I'm about to show you the best defense in the game right now for Madden 22. The year just started and a lot of people have no clue what to do on defense, but I'm here to tell you the nickel 335 wide formation is just as good as it was last year, if not better. Now I am on the new consoles for Madden 22, but this will still work on the older consoles as well. In fact, it might even work better because the movement and user is a lot better on the older consoles. I'm going to break down everything you need to know out of this formation. The first very crucial thing is that you want to use use your zone drop adjustments now those are not available to us in practice mode so i will pop up a little clip on the screen and show you how you activate it inside of an actual game and when you go into your coaching adjustments you want to set your curl flat zones to drop 20 to 25 yards deep this is going to help you take away corner routes or deep crossing routes that are a pain to stop another crucial thing with this defense is you want to make sure to sub in a fast safety at the middle linebacker position because that's going to be your user you press the wire triangle button and then you can scroll with the d-pad until you get to the middle linebacker position i already have isaiah simmons plugged in there put whoever your fastest and best user safety is in this spot the plays we're going to be looking at in this formation are the mike blitz zero the mike blitz three and the cover four show two first we're going to start with the mike blitz three and really quickly if you're looking to stay up to date on all the top defensive tips all year long and god knows you're going to need it this year in madden 22 make sure to subscribe turn the bell icon on so you don't miss out on any of these important videos when they go live so early on in Madden 22, defense is really hard to come by this year, specifically on the new consoles, not as much on the old consoles. So whatever I show you here on next gen is going to work even better on the older consoles. But on the newer ones, you know, there's not a lot of great defense. So mostly you're just trying to play very bend, don't break. You're trying to mix in some blitzes to catch your opponents off guard. But you have to kind of be OK with giving up yards here, or there and really tightening up once you get into the red zone, because right now a lot of the zone coverages in the game just aren't defending that well. But we want to put ourselves in the best position to succeed and that's what we're doing with the Mike Blitz 3. Now keep in mind that the deep blue zone sometimes this year can get ran by by fast receivers. It's just kind of something that's happening in the game. So something I like to do specifically if I'm going against like bunch or tight formations where this happens more often is I'll manually kind of back up my my outside cornerbacks a little bit. Whoever's on the bunch side, I would just back them up a little bit. Just to show you an example really quickly, I audible over to a bunch formation so you could see like what I would do is I would just manually back this guy up I wouldn't really worry as much about the other guy because this is the side where I'd have to worry about him potentially getting bombed so I want to make sure he's just a little further back so that he doesn't get abused now with the Mike Blitz 3 there's a bunch of ways we can set this up now typically what I like to do is I like to go ahead and crash my defense out which is left on the d-pad up on the right stick because I want all of my pass rushers on the line to be rushing then what you have are these two outside linebackers here we have Hicks right here and we have Collins right here they're kind of wild cards in this play where there's a few things we can do we can do what's called a double mabel and we can put those guys into hard flats now to do this you would press a or x and then left on the left stick do like that then we can hit the beer circle button twice and we jump right over to our other guy it's the fastest way to do it and then again we would hit a or x and then left on the left stick and now we have a double mabel now the only thing with this is we have to use her a lot over the middle ourselves and you want to keep your user blitzing this year because if you only have three guys rushing sometimes this year for whatever reason if they run the ball your defense can get pancaked so you want to leave your user blitzing on this angle because the computer or the game kind of recognizes this as four rushers so it just keeps you from being able to get pancaked is essentially what you're doing but you would just be covering the middle of the field yourself and you can see you get pretty good pass rush with this formation and everything on the outside was pretty much blanketed but if they're sending more things over the middle of the field if they're hitting you like that you might not want to put both of those guys in the hard flats you would maybe want to instead take this guy here and drop him into a hook curl over the middle which would be a or x and then down on the left stick and then again you could hit b or circle twice really quickly get over to the other guy and then maybe Maybe you would only drop him into the hard flat because with the running back being on that side of the field, he's usually going to be a threat to potentially leak out into the flat. So you would maybe want to have it like this, but on this side of the field, you're helping out the middle a little bit with your linebacker. So it's giving you less ground that you have to cover. So now you don't have to worry about the left side as much. And again, you can see the pass rush is really good out of this. It's one of the big selling points I guess of this formation is that it gets pretty good block sheds for whatever reason now you want to always mix in the blitz because this year especially like I said the zones aren't going to always hold up and sometimes your three-man rush just isn't going to always get home it's good to mix in the blitz so when you want to blitz out of this what you want to do is you want to hit left on the d-pad up on the right stick again to crash your defensive line out which you do every play anyway but now instead of putting those outside guys into coverage you're going to leave them blitzing and you're going to kind of stand right here 
with your blitzer you're going to kind of let him rush momentarily and then you're going to drop back with him and try to get into coverage and you see just how quick he comes off the edge now of course the middle of the field is wide open something's always going to be wide open with the blitz but when you're coming this fast off the edge i mean the only thing you could have did here was throw it to the flat if you were not looking right at the flat at the snap of the ball you were getting sacked and again that's the thing something's going to be open the thing is will your opponent recognize it before he gets hit if he recognizes it yes he's going to pick up great yards good to him he won the down but if he's looking at the middle of the field first and nothing's coming over the middle right now or what we're doing is kind of baiting because we're making it look like we're blitzing with Isaiah Simmons and then we're dropping back so if he were to try to throw like a quick slant right here we could potentially get under that and pick it so unless he was looking right here at Kareem Hunt off the jump he's going to get sacked and that's exactly what we're trying to do when we sneak in the blitz now we're going to go ahead and switch to the Mike Blitz Zero, which is basically the man version of the play we were just running. Now, this was really popular last year. It's not going to be considered as good this year, at least not on the new consoles, because man defense isn't quite as good as it was on the old consoles. I believe on the old consoles, man defense is probably still pretty good. But what you want to do with this is you want to kind of mix this in when you want to sneak in a blitz, but you want everybody accounted for. You don't want zones or like the middle of the field just necessarily wide open. So what you can do is you can press your defense by pressing wire triangle down on the left stick then you want to shade up just so you don't get beat off the press too quickly which is wire triangle up on the right stick and then you do the exact same thing as before you want to stand here with your user let him rush down a little bit and then drop back and again look how quick he's open over the middle nothing was immediately wide open you have the corner route from the tight end breaking open at the last second and when you're sneaking in the blitz it's all about your opponent recognizing what could be open right away if he's not recognizing it that quick he's going to get hit and you really can't get any faster heat in the game than this right off the edge it's coming super quick and when you're doing a lot of coverage like the first setups I've shown when you're constantly having eight guys in coverage and then you mix in the blitz your opponent's not going to really be ready for it and that's the idea you want to mix it in so that you catch him off guard he's going to think he has more time than he really does and then eventually the idea is to have him leaving his running back in so now when you're out here dropping these guys into coverage he's going to leave his running back in the block because you started sneaking the blitz in and now what's going to happen is he's going to have less options on the field and you're going to have better coverage out there. Now we're going to look at the cover four coverage style defense and keep in mind something here I want you to know that I didn't mention earlier I forgot to mention these purple zones here are going to be dropping 20 to 25 yards back in a real game because remember we set our adjustments that way before we call our defense but in practice mode on the new consoles you can't do this in practice mode I believe you can on the old consoles so right now in practice mode these guys are not dropping as far back as they normally would so when we're calling cover four and cover three these guys are going to be defending the deep sideline much better. Now here with the cover four, this is a matching defense, meaning the deep zones are going to match up and play man, which for a lot of people is really tough to go against, but you can use this as a match defense or you can use it as an all out zone. So in the beginning, I'd rather you use this as an all out zone because it's just a little bit easier to understand. So when you come out in the cover four, what you want to do is hit wire triangle and then hit the LB or L1 button. That's going to make your defense stop matching. They're just, they're going to play straight zone. Now from there, you can leave your purples on the field that we've set to drop far back if you're worried about that but if you're getting hit in the flats or anything like that you can always shade your defense down by pressing wire triangle down on the right stick and then they'll play the hard flat so that's up to you and then this outside guy here is a wild card you can leave him blitzing you can drop him back into a hook curl you can put him into a spy if you leave the purple zones on the field if we reset the play then you can go ahead and drop him into a flat so now you have that that mabel concept on this side of the field he's a wild card you can do whatever you want what i do is I leave him rushing initially because with four man rush this year I just find that you get better pressure so I will leave him rushing initially and then if for whatever reason I'm not getting good enough coverage on the field then I'll start dropping him back he, like I said he's a wild card mix it up so right now I'll go ahead and I'll drop him back into a little hook curl to help me over the middle and look I mean as you can see there's nothing wide open we're still getting good pass rush and this is going to be a really good defense to go to this year it's probably the safest coverage in the game right now again make sure you hit wire triangle LB or L1 so that you take the matching principles away and just have them play straight zone. Now another thing I love about this is stopping the run. If people like to run out of shotgun, this formation does a really good job at bottling up the run. You can see you got a guy shooting in right there off the edge. That's another reason I like to leave him blitzing is because a lot of times he will come free off the edge versus the run. But even if he doesn't, you're going to muddy up the running lanes very easily. I just missed with my user there because I'm using both controllers so it's a little bit tougher. But you're muddying up the running lanes. You have easy gaps that 
you can shoot this is one of the easiest defenses to shoot gaps so you can see somebody's usually coming in and shutting down the run no matter what type of inside zone they like to use now another thing you can do versus people that just love to run first out of shotgun because there's a lot of people like that online that just they want to run inside zone inside zone all day if you got a guy that's doing that a lot you can set this up in a way that you can hit him for a loss every time so you want to slide your defensive line away from the running back in our case this is to the right side of the field so we go left on the d-pad right on the left stick then we want to crash the d-line out which is left on the d-pad up on the right stick and what this is going to allow us to do is shoot this gap right here right in the backfield and hit him for a loss see how we did that and you can do that every time and then that's what happens you can force a fumble and then you can be taking it the other way for a touchdown pretty easily so if you're playing someone that just loves the spam inside zone just run through the gap like that set it up that way it's another reason that this defense is so good because you can shoot the run you can shut down the pass it's just it's like a jack of all trades formation hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you want to stay up to date on the top defensive tips all year long make sure to subscribe turn the bell icon on so you don't miss any videos i'll see you guys next time